Hello beer tubers and welcome to a very kind of spe- I don't know if I should say special, but uh, a review of a very <laughs> unique and very gimmicky beer. Yes, as you saw in the title, today we're going to be reviewing a collab between McKellar and Napa Beer in Spain. And this is their collaboration beer, We Brew Gold. And yes, this is made with actual edible gold flakes. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it's pretty crazy, and the, the description online is like, yeah, we're good like that, we can brew with gold, or some, something like that, and you know, in, like, uh, it's kind of like a fancy st thing to eat edible gold, you can actually buy small packages that's super expensive, with thin, like, flakes of, of gold, that you can eat, so this is one of their newest beers, it's 9% 9, 9 double IPA, there isn't much info about hops or anything, it just says that they brew with gold and then they, they're cool like that, or they were good like that, it says. Um, cool label and then all that. I know it's a huge gimmick, I'm looking for, and you can see like the gold in the bottom. You're gonna see it better when it's poured, but yeah, not much else to say than it's a big 9% double IPA, as I said. Uh, it's got a dollar sign on the Mikkeler logo on the side and stuff. Yeah, it was 85 Danish kroners, so not a cheap beer, but let's see if it's worth it. So let's get it cracked. Here we got it poured, and it's a hazy, pale orange color with flakes of gold <laughs> in it. A whitish head. Let's check out the aroma on the Navabia and McKellar Webrew Gold. It smells like a pretty nice double IPA though. I mean, it smells like your average double IPA. It's just got gold flakes in it. It smells like, or average, you, you know American style double IPA. A lot of like tropical fruit notes, um, like pineapple, kind of mango notes, sweet citrus fruits. There is some sugary tones to it as well. I'm smelling a hint of like lemongrass, so I wonder if they have a, just a touch of sovin, or sovin, sorry, um, sriracha ace in there. It just smells like a huge, kind of juicy, fruity double IPA. Um, yeah, it, it basically does. Let's just pour some more in just to get the last amount of gold flakes because I paid for that shit <laughs> in there and gives us a taste. Cheers, guys. First time I ever try edible gold flakes. Not just in beer, but in general. Of course, you can't taste them. It's just for making this beer fancy, but it tastes pretty good. It's quite bitter and you know, sweet, juicy double IPA. There's nothing like in your face or standing out, but it's just like really, you know, juicy, tropically, sweet citrus fruity. Um, I guess like the pineapple, mangoey flavors, orange, tangerine, some grapefruit, some sweet, almost like candy, sugary notes. Of course, you're not gonna taste the gold. I think that's the whole point with edible gold. It's just a fancy, Thing. But the whole thing with this beer, I know it's a big gimmick, and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna bash this just because it's brewed with gold to edible gold flakes to amplify the price. But the beer itself is pretty good. It's not the best double IPA out there, but it's got those kind of nice flavors if you're into the more juicy IPAs uh, that you'd appreciate. But then you play a little extra for the gold. It's kind of like, yeah, I think it's a fun gimmick. But not something I'll pick up again. Uh, I'd rather. It actually reminds me of the Crooked Boon to Two double IPA that McKellar did. Uh, just this has gold in it, and this might not be as sriracha ace uh, forward with like the lemongrass notes. But again, yeah, Switzer's root, mango, pineapple. Again, there is like that lemongrass, a little bit of a minty character to it almost as well. And then a good kick of like sweet hop flavor, and bitterness isn't too high, but the one thing that is pretty intense for this, for a 9% beer, this is crazy refreshing. This, you wanna dig in for another sip, uh, which is quite nice. It's not like boozy or anything, it's very drinkable, uh, but very, very interesting, interesting concept, and I'd love to hear what you guys think of gimmicky beers like this. I've never heard of anything like this, but a beer made with edible gold. <laughs> yeah, rating wise, all that considered. I'm gonna go 88. 
It's it's really nice. It is a really good double IPA, but uh, it's not gonna go into the '90s car uh, category just because the juiciness is as intense and smack in your face. And there's like the, the only thing that lingers in the aftertaste is a, like a good kick of bitterness. And then again, I guess a little bit of the price factor is in mind in the gimmick thing, but. If you're just thinking about a good double IPA, this is a quite nice double IPA. So, <laughs> very, very unique beer. I wonder if this is something you're ever going to see again. Beer brewed with gold. It's, it's pretty fucking crazy. So, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts, as I said, on the McKellar and Napa beer we brew gold. And especially what you think of doing gimmicky beers like this. Because this is definitely a gimmick. So, guys... As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And I want to say cheers. I'll see you guys in another beer review.